So in this video, I'm going to actually talk about how can we convert a callback, uh, a function that kind of supports only callbacks to a function that supports promises. Um, actually, there are a lot of libraries out there which uh, do not support promises till date. The example of that is Mongoose, and uh, I've actually seen this JSON to CSV file, but actually don't support um, a promise. So we can't use a wait or then, right? So how can we do this? How can we convert the callback in the function? So let's start it. So I've actually defined a function here, uh, which is which is going to mimic actually a library function. So this will mimic a function that is being that is actually being imported from a from some kind of a library and actually runs only by using by actually passing a callback. It, it don't support uh, uh, promise right right now. So let's see how we can do this. How can we convert it? So what we have to do is we have to create a function on top of this library function. Okay. So what we had to do is we have to create actually a function uh, library. Uh, method promise on top of this callback function. So we had to do is we had to create a promise here, and uh, we had to actually do a callback to this promise in which we're gonna have to pass two things: this resolve and this reject. And we had to call this resolve whenever uh, actually we got the data, or if there's some kind of error, we had to call it. Um, okay. Now what we had to do here actually is we have to call this callback function, this, this library method here with our callback. So let's actually call this library method, method with a callback. Is that what it was or I'm wrong? Let me copy this. Okay, that was it. So we had to call this with a callback. Now, usually what, what this, usually what happens in, a, in these kind of libraries, they pass us two things. Either they pass us an error and we have a data. Now we had to have a condition here to kind of set first if there's an error, Right. We had to do something and if else we got the data, right? If we don't have an error, we got a data. Now in this condition here, if we got an error, we had to call this reject. So we call this reject, simple as that. If we actually have the data, we had to call this resolve with the data inside of it. So now what we did in this case, we created a function which returns a promise on top of this method, which actually only supports callback. Okay. Now we can actually simply call this function here in any kind of an async function. Okay, uh, there's just one thing that uh, there's, it's showing us an error uh, because we have to define this function as an async function. Um, so let's say we want to actually now call this function. So we had to define an async function. So let's say what we're gonna do is define a function that kind of runs uh, it, itself. Okay. Now here, we can define this as an async function. Now we're gonna call this function inside of it and say that'd be the promise. And we can now use a wait on it and simply gonna result. This is the result we can have and call this function did nothing, it is console.log, whatever the result we have. Here, we don't pass any kind of data here. Let's say actually we pass here two things error, we can we have to say null because we don't have any kind of error. And let's say the data we have is, uh, let's say an object with a message, something, it ran, that's it, right? Now, here the, the message is gonna be actually the, the message here that we can return here. Let me try to run this, let me actually first decrease the gap here. Remove the gap from here. Okay. Let's run actually this function. Let me actually do this node. Uh, what is this? Callback something. Okay. Uh, that's what we got. Like after two seconds, we actually got this message. It ran properly, right? That's, so this is how we can actually convert a callback into a promise, and it can be used, I think, in, in a lot of different actually libraries. Uh, you can use it in Mongoose. You can use it in JSON to CSV uh, library or uh, uh, in many different libraries.